Hi guys and welcome back to the YouTube series. So today I'm going to go into detail how to use the Niche Hunter that Jungle Scout offers in addition to the product database which I've used and many of you, you have and other people have used to find products to sell on Amazon. Now that can be quite quite time consuming so I found that with the Niche Hunter it's, it's a lot quicker and I found two products that I put to the side for selling in January in about sort of 10 to 20 minutes. So let's get straight into the video and I'll show you how to use the Niche Hunter and how it will work for you and let's prove that you can find a product. Okay then guys, let's get straight into the video. We're going to be looking at Niche Hunter, which is the Jungle Scout web app, app basically. <laughs> it, uh, it, it's an additional product to the product database, which is the main method people use to find products. And I use that method to find my first product. It's about two other products I've put to the side ready for launch in January. I've used Niche Hunter and it only took me about half an hour to find those two products, which is unbelievably good, unbelievably quick, which I'm sure you guys want as well. Let's get straight into it. Let's open up Google Chrome. Okay, Jungle Scout web app. I've got everything here so we don't waste too much time. I've logged in as well. Let's hope I don't get logged out because sometimes that does happen. Let's have a look at the Amazon Marketplace. We'll select United Kingdom. Uh, and uh, also, just to show you the difference here, Google Chrome extension is the additional product and it's separate from your web app, okay? This costs $39 a month and in total $69 a month, including Niche Hunter. You don't have to pay for that every month. Once you've found some products, just cancel your subscription. That's what I do, so you can save yourself some money. Okay, let's have a look at the categories. Now, some categories are better than others, and most people like to select categories they're familiar with and they've sold in before. And I quite like these two, health and personal, home and kitchen, pet supplies, toys and games. They're really good categories. So we'll just select one. Let's select um, home and kitchen, for example, say, because we don't want to be scrolling, up, scrolling down through endless uh, numbers of, of products because we want to get, get a product ready to, to be investigated uh, and hopefully make some good money from. Now, these are your filters. We will select, I don't know, say, average units sold per month. Let's put 100, oh, sorry, let's put 100 if I can get to 100. So annoying, isn't it? Sorry, guys, one second. I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm a bit OCD with that. Now, let's go with, I don't know, 4, 6, 3. Let's try that. Competition, 0 to 10, 10 being highest, 0 being lowest. Don't worry too much about that. Honestly, you can still compete with the higher listing quality products. Same, sorry, higher competition products as well as higher listing quality products. Um, you know, it depends entirely on many factors, including your product itself, the packaging, the list, everything like that. Uh, don't worry too much, leave that as it is. Average price, let's put at 10, uh, 35, let's try 35, that's a, a nice number. Opportunity score, obviously we don't want to filter any crappy ones, we want to maximise it, 8 to 10. Uh, word count, leave that, I won't go into detail what that is right now in this video. Uh, it's, it's not really important right now. Include keywords, exclude keywords, let's leave that blank. We can always exclude keywords if we find rubbish products and we can't find one straight away. So let's go ahead and search. 8 million results down to 791. Okay, so really, you know, <laughs> there aren't really many here, which is fantastic, really. That's a really good idea, a good thing to have. That's only one category, so we, we know we've filtered some decent products. Just to give you an example of what to look out for. Now, the niche here is, is the keyword of what people are searching for, the large pillar candles white. That's the first product. Now, I've researched this product before because I, I tried to sell it, and I, I was going to sell it, and I realized, you know what, there are so many candles, I, I just can't differentiate myself. I just can't do it. There's no point in putting any money into that. So that was my decision not to go into that. So don't always base your decisions on the numbers. Go into it and see what you can make better, etc. Okay. Now, <clears throat> we'll close that, and I will see if I can find something that sort of sticks out, if you like. So give me a couple of seconds. Okay, uh, Joseph, Joseph water bottle. Now some of you pro will probably know what that is right now. I don't, let's have a look. Okay, so it's a children's branded water bottle. Okay, I've seen them all over the place in the shops and that sort of stuff. And they're being sold by Amazon. So I wouldn't even bother competing with a brand that's been sold by Amazon. It's a bit, yeah. I mean, even that says one, one uh, competition score and nine opportunities. So, you know, like I said before, go into the product and have a look. Let's close that one up and have a look at something else. Uh, sea glass, okay, candle. Uh, wreath rings, let's have a look at wreath rings. 
Okay, I know what they are. Okay. Now, I'm, I'm pretty sure you can get this on Alibaba. I don't think it will be a difficult thing to source. We will have a look at it, though. And let's have a look at the, the score. It's giving you nine opportunity and one competition. Obviously, don't base your decision completely on that. Have a look at the product. So let's go into Amazon and have a look at this product, uh, the wreath ring. Okay. The moment of truth. Let's have a look. So it's bringing up the products as per the uh, the Jungle Scout web app, uh, sorry, Niche Hunters list here under the keyword wreath rings. Now that looks like quite a good product, quite a professionally made one. It's got a nice shrink wrap around it. Perfect. Okay, it's got 91 reviews, so it's a decent product. There's no way we can't copy that with uh, with Alibaba in China. So we'll, we'll go and have a look anyway. Now I've opened up the Jungle Scout app. This is the Google Chrome extension and you have to have it. It's really important that you have it. If you don't have it, then you, you will struggle. There are other apps out there, but they're all very similarly priced. And to use this with a niche hunter, it's very important. And I'll show you that now. I'll show you how it works. It will give you a list of the products on the first page, including the sponsored products. And these are the, the organically ranked or the ranked ones on the first page. Now it says here, medium demand with low competition. That's a good sign. Immediately, that's a good sign. Don't always worry about it being not, not being high demand. It can still be a very good product because some people will immediately cancel that and go, oh, no, it's medium demand. There's no point. Of course, that there, there, there's loads of reasons to get into a medium demand product with a low competition because sometimes it means that it's, it's a lot of people will see that and fob it off and they'll go, oh, no, I won't go with medium. I'll stick with high. So it gives you opportunity as well. If you're watching this video, it gives you more opportunity then. So... Let's have a look at the revenue. Revenue is decent, five thousand to nine thousand pound a month. Now I know it's not the two, sorry, the the biggest twenty thousand, thirty thousand plus, forty thousand pound products, but please don't be, be disillusioned with sales revenue being the most attra most attractive reason to get in, to get into a product because their margins, their profit margins, could be quite small. They could be you know five percent, ten percent. That's just an, uh, just an example of of what to look out for, including the seller. So what that means is you've got Fulfilled by Merchant and Fulfilled by Amazon. We are all Fulfilled by Amazon. What I'm teaching and what you want to get into is Fulfilled by Amazon. And you send your stuff to Amazon and they fulfill it for you, they send it out. And the benefit of that is it comes with Prime, the next day delivery, which everyone loves. These guys don't get it because they're selling, this, they're selling the stuff out themselves from their own warehouse, their own house, or whatever. So there aren't actually many, aren't actually many FBA sellers here. So you can compete on that level. If you get the same product as that, make it look better, the packaging, make it a better price or a similar price, and you get some decent reviews. You don't even have to get the same amount of reviews, to be honest, you don't. Because if you offer more value and you make it a better listing, then happy days, you're going to be beating them. And they've got a really good BSR as well. So, perfect. Let's have a look at the actual product. Okay, right there you go. They've got one crappy little picture. Immediately you can see that you can add value to this. Get the same product or very similar, shrink wrap it really nicely, make nice packaging, nice brand name, and sell it for the same or more, or, or a bit less if you can, if the margin's there, and put your prime delivery there as well, you're already beating them. So that that's an example of opportunity finding if you del dive deeper into the actual product using the, the apps here and the Jungle Scout here as well. All right, let's have a look at Alibaba and see if we can source that product or something very, very similar. Wreath rings. Let's hope something comes up. And also guys, I've actually found that product in less than 10 minutes. A potential product in 10 minutes and further investigation will make it clear to me if it's a product worth worth buying into and already I can see oh already I could see uh, a wreath ring very similar to that being sold here we are perfect happy to look at that don't well, don't look at the prices here don't worry too much about those because honestly you have to contact the supplier and ask for a, 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 a quote uh, a, a price for that because that could be that could mean just one being delivered as a sample for instance and you can negotiate as well I will make further videos on how to negotiate etc but for the moment I just want to show you uh, how you can find an actual product and if you can find an Alibaba which we have in, in a matter of 10 minutes okay there you go so I hope that helps with 
with your reassurance of finding products if it is possible to find products and I, I did that in, in the United Kingdom as well I know there are a lot of people saying and I've complained before as well you know that oh, I can't find a product in the United Kingdom it's you know it's too small or whatever but using the niche hunter I found a product within 10 minutes so use this as a as an example and I really hope this video is brought a lot of value to you and I hope that you do find a product if you do find a product please comment below oh, obviously don't bother commenting what it is because the, the vultures will, will 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 jump on you but just say you found a product and I'll, you know I'll, I'll give you a thumbs up comment back and we'll have a chat and if you've got any questions about what to do next then please fire away yeah thanks very much guys and please subscribe turn notifications on and I'll see you in the next video thank you